Let's go to... Um, do you remember how on uh, Monday, I believe, we were talking about this brilliant guy named uh, the Steak Doctor? Uh, he was a friend of Sam's, actually. No, I'm just kidding. His name was Willie Deagle, and he was he was part of, like, Fox News kind of taps this sort of, like, New York scumbag network. It sort of seems like some anchor or producer or something goes to some, like, bad steakhouse in Midtown, and they're like, hey, the proprietor looks like a total scumbag. He probably opposes paying people a higher wage. Why don't we just book him in a morning block, and he'll, uh, you know, explain why, like, I don't know. Millennials are entitled because they don't want to like work while they have pneumonia or they something. They don't think of themselves yeah. as servants. Yeah, they don't think of themselves as servants anymore. And uh, you know, you get a nice ten minutes out of it, and uh, he kind of looks like an extra on Goodfellas or something. So, we uh, played this uh, brilliant segment, and uh, we played this great segment the other day of uh, of Willie Deagle explaining the entitlement mentality, and we were so fascinated by this guy that in fact we're contemplating actually taking a trip to what is it uncle jack's yeah. we're contemplating taking a, a trip to the steakhouse a couple of people sent me the reviews of his new uh, one that's opened in astoria there's a lot of bad yelp reviews um and he actually now as a result of the increase in new york city's wages he uh now adds i think five percent to the bill and calls it like a a Something like a wage increase charge. So you, yeah, and I think he'll get to it. So we've got a couple. We found a couple other things about this guy uh, Deagle, um, which we're going to get to. But uh, here is another great appearance of them. When did this take place with Maria Bartiromo? Last year. This is from last year. He's talking with Maria Bartiromo. Uh, he's talking about how the uh, you know the minimum wage is is like super unfair. And he also has a very interesting theory about the Cuomo family and its relationship to pizzerias and <laughs> pasta joints and how it might reflect in their uh, policy making. You guys are going to really want to check this out. For, uh, for joining us, first let's talk about the minimum wage. Yeah. Minimum wage has gone up in 18 states, uh, states uh, this year. Steaks. Steaks. steaks, yeah, steaks. Paul, yeah, I love it. See, I love it already. He's already like, steaks. I got it. I got it, Maria. Oh, my God. This broad. We're okay. having fun. We're having fun. <laughs> Good times. <laughs> Wage has gone up in 18 states, uh, states uh, this year. Stakes, stakes, stakes yeah. and states. Yeah. Um, That's going, right? Minimum That's wage up. Does Keep that going, hurt business yeah. for you? It's, What's the impact? For, it's crushed us. So it's not just this year. It's been minimum wage increases the last three to four years on the restaurant industry. We employ a lot of people. The restaurant hospitality industry takes a lot of people to perform our show. So it's basically crushing us. It's taking our profits and they're disappearing. <laughs> Wow, what are you going to do about it? Well, I'm thinking about coming up with a set date. I have two alternatives. A 5% fair wage fee put on every check and only recommending a 15% gratuity because the front of the house have gotten so many increases and the back of the house hasn't. So so pa pause it. I'm sorry. So he literally, and I believe, I don't know if, I heard, I read in the Yelp reviews that he that there is this five percent wage fee increase. So he did follow through with that. I don't know if he added the don't tip above fifteen percent because all of the people like struggling to make a living in my stupid steakhouses are getting paid way too much. I mean, you know, if you're making like I don't even know what is it like fifteen, ten, ten, fifteen bucks an hour in uh, New York, you are. Like, I mean, I'm surprised that his wait staff isn't just partying at Cipriani. You're commuting from yeah, like, a long distance away. Yeah. No, you're no, you're not commuting from you're living like in a high rise in Midtown for twelve dollars an hour. You're living large in New York. I mean, how much more money can these people take? Yeah, the show yeah. friends, that was real. <laughs> yeah. It's an accurate reflection of what it's like to be well, a young person the in the city. The only part of friends that wasn't real was that they all should have had jobs uh, as wait staff at a steakhouse. Mm. Yeah. That that would have been more on point. All right, go ahead. Customer could understand it. We're not taking more from them we're just tipping the guests let i mean the, the staff less being out there getting so many raise increases right. yes. so what you're saying is something's got to give i mean yes. if you're going to be forced to pay your employees more because the minimum wage is going up and that's the law something's got to give the money's got to come from somewhere so you'll raise yeah. prices somewhere como was never in the restaurant business too bad his family didn't come from a pasta or pizzeria business and he would understand it a little bit uh, so, andrew cuomo's family yeah. is in the restaurant which business, business? <laughs> well then maybe maybe 
maybe he didn't like the business and he's a hater on it. Because oh. every move he makes, he's killing us. Mm. Right? So he's looking to even do away. This is anti Italian discrimination. <laughs> the literally the 15 as well. Then you have the Fair Family Leave Act. Yeah. So much administrative work has been put on the small business. Today in this city, you need a full time lawyer, <laughs> right. a full time human resource, payroll companies, yeah, you word. need administration people, fees across the board, all the different <laughs> services we offer people, open table, wow. different apps, yeah. Wi Fi. It's all costing money. <laughs> of course. The credit what? card processing right. yeah. fees are up to 3.5 on the reward said that, cards. How are things going, Willie? Well, I the mean, restaurant business, we're yeah. busy. Okay. We're busy. So you're busy. We're serving people. The American Grill, the, the meat house concept. I reinvented this steakhouse so you could come get your meat on. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> It's the best thing I've ever seen in my life. I mean, it so, seems he could still afford to get his tips frosted, so I think he's probably doing fine. He's trying to subsidize I like the it. Wi-Fi. Yeah, look, I, love I like it when he goes after Cuomo and Italians, like talking about pizzeria and pasta joints, and Maria Bartiromo's like, you're talking to an Italian-American here. Maria, Mar Maria Bartiromo's like, the Cuomo family is in the restaurant business. He goes, oh, I don't know, maybe they're haters. <laughs> <laughs> Money's got to come from somewhere. So if you had already thought to yourself, hey, this guy seems like a sort of like extra in The Sopranos who maybe Tony hugs in one scene and then kicks out of the bada bing later, you're on to something. Because in the course of our research, it appears that, uh, and this is from a 1996 New York Times article, um, a, a Mr. William Deagle, later to be known as the steak doctor and a foremost expert for all Fox News properties, apparently, on why we can't pay people any type of remotely living wage in the most unequal era in human history and in the wealthiest city in arguably the planet. Uh, this guy was involved in an altercation at a White Castle restaurant in Bayside, Queens. <laughs> Mr. Deagle <laughs> and a friend, Mr. Offen, were uh, approached by police officers because they were a they were harassing staff at a uh, a White Castle in Queens. Now, <laughs> his friend Mister Often actually uh, attacked the police officer and hit the man repeatedly in the face, causing a series of injuries that required uh, several uh, uh, several serious injuries and required surgery in several months uh, to heal. Um, later on. Mr. Deagle uh, would be charged with three other men in a credit card fraud ring. During the federal investigation of that case, court records showed investigators were trying to convince Mr. Offen to testify against the defendants, including Mr. Deagle. Those same records show that in a tape conversation, Secret Service agents threatened to, to charge uh, uh, Mr. Offen in the case he did not cooperate against the other defendants. But I believe it was Mr. Deagle that ended up actually uh, testifying, right? This is on his, now, this is from, not from the Times article. This is on Wikipedia. He was he was sentenced to five years in prison, but released after six months after a plea deal. His witness testimony against his co-conspirators helped the government prosecution, leading to the incarceration of Gambino crime family mobster Louis Ferrante. And in 2005, he was named one of Crane's 40 under 40 entrepreneurs to follow that up. in New York City. <laughs> Um, Louis Ferrante went to prison and is apparently reformed now and wrote a romance novel about the antebellum South. Oh um, I'm sure it's super woke. I, I'm sure it's just not only woke, but also incredibly well written. Uh, and uh, so, and, and Mr. Deagle. So basically, to just sort of sum up. He's a renaissance man. This guy, Willie Deagle, who is like the go-to for Fox's explanation of why people who uh, work some of the most thankless jobs in the country and can barely survive even with these increases shouldn't get anything because he's a scumbag restaurateur who has added a charge onto his customers precisely because he has to pay marginally more money to people who work these jobs under him. He's talking openly about encouraging lower tips on his employees. Uh, and he has a background and harassing people at a Bayside Queens White Castle, which is literally the most scumbag thing I've ever read in print, <laughs> and was involved in a credit card ring, uh, and uh, and uh, and apparently connected to a former uh, Gambino family mobster. And this is who uh, kill me. It's like, yeah, they're killing you. And Ryan and and 
Uh, Bartiromo is also like one of uh, Trump's favorite anchors. So if you ever watched like Goodfellas and you thought like, I would really like these people minus a couple of just like actual acts of violence to just be in charge of everything in my media and political life. Nailed it. It's here. Uh, we By the way, Trump's a fan of this. Uh I'm sure Trump, Trump is a fan of Willie uh, Deagle. You mean he likes to get his meat on? He likes to. I love to get my meat on. It's a great point. Uh, Trump visits Uncle Jack's Steakhouse. This is from a piece in the New Yorker. Uh, I don't remember. Every morning, Willie Deagle, the proprietor of Uncle Jack's Steakhouse on West 56th Street, less than an avenue away from Chunk Tower, has a blunt conversation with his mirror. Uh, do we have the video of this? Where he's psyching himself up in the mirror? What? All right, I think we're going to just play this uh, to finish our journey with Willie Deagle. To be resi- so this is how Willie Deagle, the steak doctor, pumps himself up uh, to start his day. Uh, everybody in the office actually has started uh, this routine as well. What is it? Everybody's passing all these labor increases. Oh, this so is another one? So they're forcing minimum wage to go from seven fifty to $15 over a five-year period. Then they're taking the front of the house wait staff, which is 75% okay, so this is an, this is of an, this my is employee another, uh, base, and took them from $5 to seven fifty, and then moving them to 10 So, so that's yeah. being very disrespectful towards the Hippocratic Oath five he year took period when he became a state doctor. He's getting a 100% he's very, increase in labor. Look at this Well, place. where does that come from? How can anyone afford that in any business? And what can- you think that you're entitled to your credit card number and for me to not copy it and use it in a scam with the Gambino family because it's an entitlement society. All right. Here's how the steak doctor works himself up in the morning. Steakhouse, New York's toughest steakhouse boss there is. I used to wake up and look in the mirror and say, who's the man? And I say, I'm the man. Now, this is me talking back to myself in the mirror. Now, you say, no, who's the man? And at the third time, I say, I'm the f***ing man. Yes. Who's the man? I'm the man. Yes. I'm always getting in my car. Like, I'm the f***ing man. Yes. I'm taking on sh-. What are we getting done? I want to accomplish everything. I'm going to win, 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 win. I want the best all the time. I want to get better. I need to build more restaurants. I need to build my empire. One customer, one steak, one martini at a time. Every item has to be the freshest, the best money combined. We serve $200 steaks here all day, lunch and dinner, like it was nothing. Trump comes here, he's a regular. Yeah. What do my employees think yeah. about me? I really don't know. You can talk to any one of them anytime you want. They're able to say whatever they really truly feel, man. I have some really good stories about Willie, but I really can't repeat them on camera, unfortunately. <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to say anything about Willie. Que no lo quiero decir nada más porque tengo miedo que me va a correr. 24 oh. hour surveillance at all times in I all of his restaurants. <laughs> Willie can see. Oh, okay. Wow. Okay, so yeah. Then so somebody added that. Somebody. That, we yeah. don't know that, but yeah, it, we don't it know. So. Yeah, we. It, yeah, it appears like that was an add-on sort of uh, joke. But uh, wow. So basically, uh, just to reiterate, uh, when when small when business owners go on TV, they're not sending their best. <laughs> they're sending people that used to be involved in the Gambino family. <laughs> They're back? sending people who constantly bitch about or ratting on them, who constantly complain about their employees making any money. Uh, they're not good people. I'm sure some of them are nice, but when they go on TV, not sending their best. Even Trump saw that clip and was like, calm down, Willie. <laughs> <laughs> Can we go back to his interaction with the police for a second? Mm-hmm. Because I read the Adolf Reed article about how it's not enough. It's not going to be enough to simply have a equally proportionate number of white people and black people be murdered by the cops and i agree with that the cops shouldn't murder anyone and yet this vignette in careful life, careful uh, it makes <laughs> careful, me question careful careful i just uh, don't know anymore i think it is a, i think it is, i would has... i would definitely say whoever the black analog is to this guy did not could not have the same like yeah, man, I'm just harassing somebody to White Castle. Now my friend's going to f- knock your fucking face out. I mean, up until now, he's escaped poetic justice, uh, criminal. <laughs> well, not entirely, but you know, yeah. certain, a, lot of, a lot of different strains of justice. There's a lot of justice that Willie's evaded. Yeah. Um, just in case, uh, <laughs> you know, Willie Deagle is still involved with certain people. Yeah. Uh, There's a message to Willie. That's um, Wikipedia. I think you're great. 
um, I would like. I'd to love go, to do some like business go, with you sometime. I'd, I'd like to, some coupons. I don't want to do business with you, but I will go to the steakhouse, and uh, I would just like to say in advance, kill Michael is what I'm saying. Yeah, <laughs> Brendan's a lot easier to kill, it just even in terms of like body disposal. But um, I'm faster. Though, yeah. Brendan is Jack. I don't know you're faster. I don't know about that. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> we'll see when Deagle's goons are. <laughs> <laughs> Just kill Matt. He's playing video games and choking on bongs, researching what a tool you are. No, I'm a treadmill guy. Yeah. But he's the reason that we even know this stuff, Willie. <laughs> and Jamie doesn't respect Stern. Kill her. <laughs> <laughs> How to the king of all video, Baba Booey, Baba Booey, Baba Booey. <laughs> You're calling from an 823. That's just an unbelievable... Like, you know what? Like, what's messed up is that it's actually uh, like uh, cool. The guy got his life together. He's got restaurants like that. That's actually like great. But <laughs> you really want to go on TV and be like one of America's like chief scumbag cheerleaders against you know like a, a marginal rage increase for your workers when you have a Just documented even in terms of your history, own work culture when you have a documented history of already harassing like restaurant employees like going back to the 90s this guy was like at a white castle in bayside he's like you know what if what if i own the place then i could get kicked out if i harassed them it's like uh wyatt coke you know in the end he's only gonna help us to wage this class war and convince people that these people need to go that's exactly right so similarly to wyatt coke uh willie keep doing what you're doing brother you're calling uh, in terms of going on tv hi folks sam cedar here we still need your help on our patreon page YouTube ads have come back, but not nearly as much as we had before. So if you can help us out, any little bit helps. Head over to our Patreon page right at this URL, and you'll help us keep helping you by making videos.